Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be working on day four. We are going to do 71 plus 13. We're going to add this together. 1 plus 3 is 4. 7 plus 1 is 8. So it is 84. But as I did that, I want to remind you that this 7 is 70. This 1 is 10. So it's actually 70 plus 10 equals 8D because it is in the tens place. Look at the base 10 blocks. These are base 10 blocks. If you have ever played with base 10 blocks, you, you can feel them and you can maneuver them. These blocks are worth 10 tens or 100. These blocks are worth 10 units. So each of these are worth 10. And each of these are worth 1. So if I were to count 100, 200, 300, 400. So I have four hundreds. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3. Now, the way I did that was actually incorrect. And the reason why is because you should start with your ones place. Because what happens if there was 12 ones or 11 tenths? Then we would have to do what's called regrouping. Write the missing numbers to complete the pattern. Last week you were working on patterns in math. So if we go over this, two, four, six, eight, they are going up by a certain, they're, they're moving up. I know that, they're not going down. So how much are they going up? Two plus what equals four? Two, three, four. Four plus what equals six? Four, five, six, so it is two. Six plus what equals eight? Six, seven, eight. The pattern is that you add two. So eight plus two is 10. 10 plus two is 12. 12 plus two is 14. So if I was to write what the pattern is, you could choose any number, but we could do P plus two. That is your pattern plus two. Becca put 91 books on a shelf. So she's got 91 books. Of the books, 28 were nonfiction, 13 were poetry, and the rest were fiction. Here's that and word. That and word usually means addition as of right now. So how many books were fiction? So we're going to write our total. Our total is 91, and it is equal to 28 plus 13 plus an F for fiction, because I don't know what is the number for fiction. 28 plus 13 I can do that mentally. I do not want you to do it mentally. So I want you to write 28 plus 13, separate, eight plus three is 11. And I'm going to carry that one. That one is actually one 10. So I'm actually gonna carry that 10 to the tens place, 10, 20, 30, 40. So my answer is 41 plus F. So I still need to figure out what this answer is. Mentally, I know what this answer is. However, do you? We are going to use another method 
to solve this, I'm going to count up. I know that I can't count with my fingers this much. However, I can count using base 10 blocks. 41, if I add 10, it would be 51, 61, 71, 81, 91. These are worth 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, Fifty equals F. Another way you could do that is this is actually a standard that is way above third grade. That is the reason why I did not show it to you. But if you're adding on this side to get rid of it, you need to subtract it. And you can go 1, take away 1 is 0, 9, take away 4 is 5. Right now, this is what you should be using. These are what's considered rods. If you needed to add ones, I just used X's for these little squares because I don't like drawing squares and I think it's a little too time consuming. And then you can't tell the difference between these squares and these squares. So I encourage you to use an X as a one. Thank you.